welcome back to Lost Judgment. Last video of the session, and the night. <clears throat> I found your time capsule. <laughs> what? That's amazing, Mr. Detective. That giant's wheel turned out to be the Ferris wheel you could see from the backyard. Oh, the Ferris wheel. Now that I think about it, we did get all giddy about calling that thing the giant's wheel. Wait, but this... isn't this different? I think it's the same color, but this thing doesn't have a keyhole, see? Eh? You're right, it doesn't. What are you guys talking about? Our time capsule was walkable and it had a keyhole, because uh, we didn't want it to be opened up, obviously. Uh, this thing doesn't have a keyhole. But this was in the location that the code led me to. That's weird, why would it be there? Hmm. Well, the only thing that I can think of is... That there's a possibility it was stolen. Yeah. No, I, I doubt that. There was no valuables in it that would have been worth stealing. Uh, plus, it'd be pretty crazy for a thief to be digging randomly and find the time capsule by sheer luck. And if there was some guy just wandering around and digging up the ground, that would have been noticed. Uh, yeah, I see what you mean. Even if it's possible that happened, it probably didn't. Well, then, thinking back, there were some curious signs of disturbances near the place where I dug up the time capsule. Maybe I can guess what happened based on that. Is it possible you're misremembering? You say there was a keyhole, but maybe there wasn't. Huh? What are you trying to say? That this is the time capsule the three of you were looking for. Uh, well, I really don't think it is. We were sober when we bought the, t the capsule, so there's no chance of misremembering that particular detail. Really? I see. Well, um... There was disturbed earth next to where this capsule was buried. So it looked like someone had been digging there. Eh? Huh? What are you saying? It's possible. But your time capsule was taken by mistake. In other words. Meaning that a person who buried their capsule nearby mistakenly took eh? yours. What? That's what yep. you think? Yes. Based on what I saw at the scene, that's my hypothesis. The other person dug up your capsule, which does have a keyhole. But it's been so long, this person didn't remember his capsule didn't have one. I'm sure if he ever got a look inside, he would realize it wasn't his. But obviously, he can't open it since it's locked. <sighs> Seriously? That actually does sound possible. Time capsules were really popular back then. Whatever the case, it certainly seems like your time capsule was taken by a third party. So the only way to get it back is to figure out who took it. Hey, if we take a look inside this time capsule we have here, wouldn't we get an idea of who has ours? Uh, good point. Well, I hope he doesn't mind. A uh, track athlete number, a stuffed bear, and there's a comb here. So maybe it's not a guy after all? Or maybe it's a girl. Anything that might narrow it down further than that? Hey, look at this. It's a letter. And there's a name on it. Uh... Huh? Say a Goto! Uh, this is goto sons. Wow, no way! Mm -hmm. You know her? Hi. Yeah, she was one of our classmates. We all adored her. <laughs> oh, Geekaboo, didn't you have a crush on Goto-san? Well, yeah. You yeah. wanted to confess to her on the day of graduation. You ended up checking it out and not doing it, remember? <laughs> I want to see what it says. Let me see. Hey, don't just read someone else's letter. <laughs> Yeah, not a good idea. Oh, shut it. Mm. Oh. Eh? What? Hold on. No way. Seriously? What? What's in this letter? It's not good to invade her privacy by reading her letter, but now I'm curious. Hold on. Is this truly necessary to invest to the investigation? There's nothing. What? You're not reading anything. He's not reading anything. No way! Why is this kind of letter inside Goro-san's capsule? Okay, I guess this is necessary to complete the job. 
Here we go. Excuse me. Um, what's written there, exactly? Well, you see, it's a love letter to the person she liked at the time. Yeah? What? Really? What does it say? I wanted to confess to you on the day of graduation, but now I regret I wasn't able to do that. Instead, I'll hide my true feelings inside this time capsule. I hope that by the time I open this again, my love will be fulfilled. Wow. Uh, so there was someone she really, really liked. Or was it? Did she give a name? Okay, uh, you might want to sit down for this. The name she gave is... Yuto Ogikubo. It was you! W what? <laughs> Seriously? Well, hold up. It you're joking, right? Uh, let me see. It's true. Oh. Wow. That's an interesting coincidence, huh? Didn't you also want to confess on graduation day, but didn't know Okibu-san? Okibu yeah, but I never thought Goto-san could possibly feel the same way. Hey, Okikabu, I just remembered. Didn't you put a love letter in our time capsule, too? You never managed to give it to her. Hmm? Wait, so that means both of you buried your secret feelings inside our time capsules. And then not only did you bury them near each other, but the first person to come back and dig one up took the wrong one. Ugh. Only one way to describe this. No. Don't say it. This is just a crazy coincidence. Yeah. We gotta say it. This is destiny. Come on, Okikubu. It can't just be a coincidence. Uh, but really, destiny? Anyway, uh, what we need to do now is trade capsules with Goto-san. But how do you find her? That's the problem. Do you have an idea where she lives? I don't know her current address, but if I recall at the time, I heard she lived around Chinatown in Eugene Show. Oh yeah, I think she was the daughter of a Chinese restaurant owner. The daughter of a Chinese restaurant owner in Chinatown? It could be a lot of people, but at least it's a clue. Is there anything else I could ask them? How about contacting an old classmate and seeing if you can get con connected that way? Mm. Mm, I don't know anyone who's, con who's contact info besides these guys. I lost touch with most people after graduation. Same for me. What about you, Okikabu? Okay, yeah. Same. The only person I kept in touch with were you guys. I see. Well then. Would you happen to have a yearbook? Sometimes those old yearbooks would list addresses. <laughs> Oh, I lost mine. Me too, when I moved. I still have mine, but it's at the boarding house in Okasaka. No time to go get it. Maybe you can contact the school office and see if they have the yearbook from then. Yeah. No, that won't work. I've asked them the guy a question before. Because at one point I want to look at it. They don't keep the yearbooks. I see. Then I guess it would be hard to find a lead from a yearbook. In that case... Do you at least know what she looks like? It would help if you had a photo. If a cup, if I couple a photo with the knowledge that she lived near Chinatown, that'd probably be enough to find her. Did we ever have a picture of her? I definitely don't have one now. You never got a chance to snap photo sign, did you? But if a picture did exist, it would be in the graduation album. Hmm. I see. I don't have a picture, but I... I could draw a portrait. Of course, it's how she looked back then, at least. Oh. Ah, oh, that's right. You are an art teacher, aren't you? Yeah, that could be helpful. Could you go ahead and draw that for me? No problem. Okay, I'm done. I'm pretty sure this is how she looked. Oh, it totally is, yeah. I remember. Yep, yep, that's Goto-san. She always had that sort of gentle look. Yeah, you really captured how refined she was. Alright, so maybe if I look for someone who looks like this but ten years older, I can find her. <laughs> and hey, if he finds her, it's time to confess, okay, Kabo? Yeah? What? Uh, confess? That's right, man. You can't let this chance slip away. Yeah, this is destiny. Your life could change forever. But Kuro-san might be married by now, right? Uh, we're all 28 years old. Yeah. 
No, I don't think that's the case. I've heard through the grapevine that she's not married, and very interested in finding someone. Really. Uh, but still. Okay, Kabu, enough's enough. You're gonna make a move. You've been carrying around your feelings for Goto-san for ten years. You talked about her during all the rare times we met up. That's right, Okikabu. You need to get closure for that time in your life and move on. Whatever that might be. <sighs> yeah, you're right. You guys just might be right. Good. Sounds like you're finally ready to get it done. Okay, well, Yagami-san, my fate is in your hands. Time to head to Chinatown. Interesting. Why can't I just use those doors? Why do I have to use specifically this door? Ugh. Tomorrow is really gonna be a big, busy editing day, and then I gotta do more Persona 3 tomorrow, and more of this if I edit everything tomorrow, or even if I edit it tonight? Then tomorrow is just more um, recording. But I should possibly check my storage space, because if it gets too low, then I know I gotta stop recording shit. So I think the only thing I have to do is, yeah, go straight to Chinatown. What, why does Toshiro have another quest? Well, we're gonna head straight to Chinatown, then. Or... all kinds of things, man, and some things you gotta discover. Actually, wait. Oh, here we go. The UFO is apparently a false flag operation by the government. What happened to the UFO special they used to show on late night TV? Kidnapped by a UFO? Isn't that called abduction? UFOs only come out at night. I know someone got kidnapped by a UFO. Oh yeah, don't I have to do... Looks like it's only happening at night. I'm primarily in the bar district. Sounds like I've got my where and when. But for how I'll spot a UFO, I guess I'll just need to keep my eyes peeled. Yeah, it's already... it's there. I need to get these on the map before I somehow forget about them. Ah, you're in uh, Fukuoka, and you gotta try the Phantom Ramen Salt. The Phantom Ramen Salt's still warm, blah 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 blah, okay. God! It's so far away. Oh, I have to go down there, don't I? That's a long ass way, and it is also no longer on the thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and taxi down there. If I don't taxi down there, I'm gonna get into like 50 fights before I even get moving. Huh. Phantom Ramen Soul is supposed to be down here. But I was supposed to do something with the cats anyway. I had to go befriend a cat to do this. So why did I just waste my time coming here? Well, I'm an idiot. I'm a big ass idiot. 
cousin. That was a great fucking accident. Here we go. Come on, bring it. That all you got? Come on, bring it. That all you got? Let's go. Come on. Come on, bring it. Really, guys? Was there always a train over there? Hey there, kitty. Nice to meet you. A name, huh? Chan. Stay safe. Nice to meet you. See you soon, yeah? important at all. Higher up are you? Can you this? There you are. What? What the? Oh, my. Is that an actual UFO? See, I knew we'd see it. How about that, Amazawa Senpai? Aliens do exist. Couldn't that just be a searchlight? No way. What searchlight could do that? I knew it. I, I knew it. You could be coon, you, you bookie coon. Aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself? Huh? Is that Amazawa? Oh, right, I remember who Amazawa is. After all, the term UFO was invented by the US Air Force to describe any any flying object has been yet to be ident identified. It can apply in all sorts of situations. At this point, it's still a huge assumption that we just witnessed alien activity. It's far more likely to have a reasonable explanation. You're seriously denying what you just saw with your own two eyes? How stubborn are you? This is exactly what's wrong with the MRC. Hey. Hey, I'm Azala. Uh, Yagami-san, yeah. what are you doing here? Well, uh, I've seen all sorts of posts on Chatter about a potential UFO sighting, so I figured I might check it out. Why are you here? <sighs> I was invited out by you, you Buki Kun to tag along with the Supernatural Research Club to look for UFOs. Mm -hmm. Those, that's, that's, there's a Supernatural Research Club in Serio? So you're Yagami, son. I've heard much about you. I'm Akihiko, Yubuki, president of the SRC of Serio uh, High. This is Akiri Toruki, the Vice President. Um, good evening. <laughs> so, you're all out here UFO watching, huh? Kind of like a joint case between the MRC and SRC. <laughs> that's cute. I can see how supernatural mysteries are pretty similar to detective-type mysteries, too. Hey! Yagami son, what are you saying? Yes, supernatural research may share some similarities with the work that we do, but in the end, they're all totally different. I don't know about totally different. Maybe more like cousins? Listen, supernatural events are indeed unexplainable mysteries, but that's simply due to the current limitations of human knowledge. In other words, the term is reserved for phenomena that can't be rationally explained by science or logic. Hold on. Well, our own mysteries are just more stuff we can explain with our current logic yet, right? 
That's true, but as a premise, mysteries are solved with irrational thinking, rather than pure speculation. This has been the foundation of the genre for centuries. No matter how complex, in the end, any mystery can be reduced to rational, factual statements. Compare this to the supernatural writing, speculative tales with no way of verifying their accuracy, enjoyed for their impenetrable nature, open-ended questions, and what-ifs replacing research facts. The two genres of writing are like water and oil, the moon and the sun, natto and Italian food, Hiroshima Toro and Edgar Allan Poe. Now do you get it? Huh. Uh, yeah, I'm not very really well read enough to know if the last comparison works, but I've got the gist. If I have this right. In fact, what I'm really hearing is them are seeing SRC, or sort of like rival clubs, aren't what? they? Rivals? That implies we ever step that we'd ever step in the ring together in the first place. Yes, please don't put us together with the likes of the MRC. We're the ones who don't shy away from the appeal of the unexplainable. Kubuki kun, it's because there's a truth behind the tale. That's what appeals to mystery lovers. Would a pirate embark on a dangerous voyage without knowing whether he'll ever find treasure? Amazawa Senpai, you can't deny that there are unsolvable mysteries in this world. I refuse to become some humdrum fact finder who's forgotten to cherish the real mysteries of life in this universe. <sighs> humdrum? Oh, come on, you were so rivals. Oh, Senpai, you've come where I witness reports at a nearby location. What? We've got some busy skies tonight. Let's move. Uh, wait for me! Stupid saucer chasers! Invite me out for some joint research just to ditch me. They're certainly passionate about whatever it is they're doing. I'm just going to stop by the bookstore, then go home. The new mystery will be a lot more rewarding than trying to track them down. Yeah. Mm, Alright, have a good night. Boy, I sure didn't expect to see a UFO while in town. Can't forget about the abduction part of the rumors, though. Might be something serious there. Maybe I'll keep an eye to the sky, just in case. I don't know why I'm feeling like I'm extra wild tonight. I hate it when I feel that way. Why even look up the thing if the quest is just right over there? Uh... Where's Yokohama 99 again? I thought that showed up on the map. We know seriously, where do we work? Where's Yokohama 99? Oh, right down there. I need to go back there. Oh, there we are. Oh man, I might try to edit these things tonight, but I am feeling pretty tired. Whew. If I edit these things tonight, then I don't have to edit them tomorrow and I can get right to work. Dragon is an equipment item. I think it's something for heat. Wait, it's not an equipment item? I thought Eye of the Dragon was an equipment item. Really? Oh. Eye of the Dragon. Oh, I thought it was an equipment item. Oh. What a waste of time that was. Honestly, everything else I do from here is going to take some time, so I think we're actually going to go ahead and end this one um, five minutes earlier, and I will probably go get myself something to eat, give myself a little bit of energy, and uh, get to editing these videos so that tomorrow I can get right on to recording Persona 3 and this some more. So yeah.
I mean, I might end up level grinding in Persona 3, actually, so... Finding that out faster would be good.